Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you are new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to God is raising you up to fight the system. God is raising you up to fight the system and they're probably asking, okay, Jordan, what system are, are you referring to? And I'm referring to the systems of this world. The systems of this world, the systems that were created in this world were not created for you to become your best version. They weren't created for you to follow Jesus Christ. They weren't created for you to chase after your dreams, okay? But they were created to keep you in bondage, okay? And so if you think about, you know, from the beginning and you're going to school for eight hours of the day, okay, where your brain is the most alive and energized and awakened, you're in school, and then from school, you're trained to go to work for eight hours, okay? And, and sit at a desk. So it's sucking up all your creativity. And I'm not talking about people who enjoy going to work, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, but God hasn't called anyone to sit at a desk for 30, 40, 50 years. That's just not what we're here to do, okay? Um, there, we're co-creators. Okay, and so you, when, you, when you are at a place where it's stifling your creativity, that's in bondage. It's stifling your mind, okay? And so you have to remember, when Satan was kicked out of heaven, Lucifer was kicked out of heaven, and a third of his angels went with him, he became ruler of this world. Okay, and so a lot of the people who are in charge of these systems are operating out of demonic deities who are there to keep us in bondage and keep us in mind control, not being able to think for ourselves, but feeding us messages to control, to keep us in fear. And so God is saying he's raising you up. He's raising you up to fight against these systems that are put in place to intentionally keep his people in bondage. Because a lot of what society is today is a prison for your mind. A prison for your mind where you don't even know that you're in bondage. You don't even know that you're in bondage to social media, in bondage to shopping, in bondage to luxury brands, in bondage to so many things that are keeping us bound, okay? And so God is saying he's raising you up to break free from these systems. He's raising you up. If you look at the movies like The Matrix, okay, it's showing us that the artificial intelligence created this illusion to keep us in bondage. And the one person had to come, which was Neo, to come fight against the system to save the people. If you look at the movie like the maze runner there's always that one person who was raised up to fight against the system who's keeping the people oppressed if you look at hunger games there's always that one person who god raises up to fight against the system to save the people okay so let me give you some scripture revelation 12 9 and the great dragon was thrown down, 
the ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. So he was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. So you have to understand that the angels of the enemy's camp are here and they're not here in dragon form, but they're here in the form of holidays. Okay, let's talk about it. Valentine's Day, Cupid. Okay, Cupid is a Greek mythological, mythology, Greek mythological god, okay? Greek gods are just demonic deities, okay? So let's, so we're coming, that's why the Bible says do not conform, but be transformed, okay? So God is raising up people to go against the systems of the world, to set people free, to break people free from bondage. 1 John 5, 19, we know that we are from God and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. So we know that we are from God. This is the Bible telling us and the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. So this world is not our world. It's not our home. We are visitors here. The God of this world is the enemy. So we have to understand that these systems, they weren't created for us to grow and evolve and to become our best person and to become who God has called us to be. They were created to keep us in bondage, to keep us in fear and doubt. And the Bible says fear doesn't come from God. And when you realize, when you step out of fear and step on out of faith and realize there is nothing to fear, you see that your whole life elevates. The systems are not for us, but they are against us to keep us bound. God has said, I'm raising you up to fight against these systems, to fight against the systems with the ideas, with the businesses that he has given you to set people free. Second Corinthians 4, 4, Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeliness of God. Satan, who is the God of this world. So it's telling us Satan is the God of this world. So you'll see the higher up you get in status and the more money you're making, the harder it is to, to be open about Jesus Christ right? Because that's how the system was created. The system was created for people to be in fear to say that they are a believer and follower of Jesus Christ because they don't want to lose brand deals, because they don't want to lose their following. But God is raising people up to fight against these systems who are not afraid and understand where their reward comes from and understands that their hope is in Jesus Christ. And the only way to really get free, to break free from these systems is through Christ. Galatians 5.1, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. A slavery of your mind. That's why the Bible tells us to not conform, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There has to be a renewing of your mind. That's why when God is calling you, the first thing he's going to tell you to do is go to leave everything you know, because more than likely you're in a place where they're worshiping false gods, just like where Abraham was. And you may not even be aware that you're worshiping false gods because they're disguised and Easter and Valentine's Day and things that everyone feels like, oh, it's no big deal. All you have to do is do your research, Google it. These are things you can actually find on Google if you just 
did a little bit of research with everybody doesn't want to know the truth and accept the truth, right? Rosa Parks said that she would have set more people free if they only knew that they were in bondage, if they were in slavery. So this is word is for the people who have eyes to see and ears to hear what I'm saying, okay? God is raising you up to go against these systems that were intentionally built to keep people in bondage, to keep people bound, who were intentionally, that were intentionally built to go against Jesus Christ and, the, and God's commandments, okay? God is raising you up to be the one to set people free. And it tells us for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. So the only way you can break free from the bondage and slavery of these systems that are being controlled and ran by demonic deities disguised as people, okay, is through Jesus Christ. There is freedom. And that's why when you are a follower of Christ, you're no longer living in the world. You're no longer bound to the systems of the world, but you're living in the kingdom, which is a different set of laws, which is a different set of rules that apply. And so you want to be in the kingdom. But God said, I'm raising some people up. Um, he's raising you up. He's raising you up to go against these systems with your ideas and the things that he's calling you to do to set forth in the earth that will set many, many people free, okay? And so that's all I have for now. Make sure you go into the description box and see additional resources to help you go, grow in life and faith. Um, join the Journey Academy. We have courses, we're meeting once a month, we're doing in-depth studies, Q&As, all that good stuff. So if you need community, make sure you sign up. God loves you so much and so do I. Bye.